this session is to summarize or to share with you highlights of new features and new upgrades into DHIS. Many these new features are coming from the field feedbacks, especially with regards to improvements that are being requested by different implementers worldwide uh, to make sure that they chase everyone. So that's actually the purpose of this uh, session So uh, of the academy. Uh, so the updates that we shall be sharing with you is only the updates that are really uh, focusing on analytic updates. But for the sake of this academy, we shall be only focusing on updates that, that are more tied to the topics and features that we shall be talking in this academy. So, so uh, this DHS Academy, uh, as we have been saying, is DHS analytics tools. So, which means uh, we are focusing on uh, uh, the analytics tools, uh, the built in analytics tools of the DHS, mainly dashboards, data visualizer for, for charts, data visualizer for pivot table and maps. And, um, as you are aware, the, 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 DHS, the DHS Visualizer app has been upgraded uh, to accommodate charts and pivot tables uh, in, this, in the new releases. So in these uh, highlights, we shall be looking at what are the new uh, updates, what are the new features, what are new functions added into DHS, especially in the analytics. Uh, DHS analytics part. So every DHS series involves updates to these tools, especially most of the feedbacks from the field. So the, uh, this overview covers features up until the latest DHS release to uh, 37. So you might find like the features that I'm talking about, I'll be talking about, you may not, you can't reproduce into your uh, into implementations. So one of uh, the cause would be if you are not using, let's say this 2.37 version, you may not uh, uh, be able to, to explore those ones, but as soon as you upgrade uh, to upper versions, you can be able to, you shall benefit from this tool, these features. Yes. So with regards to, to DH dashboard, as I said, these uh, highlights are, we only focus on the analytics tools. So one of the analytics tools I shall be talking about in this academy is dashboard. So the, the, the new dashboard app uh, has been implemented since uh, uh, the version uh, 2.29. So we have this upgraded dashboard application. So with this one, uh, we, it allows for customization, for, 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 for custom sizing and location of dashboard items. And also you can be able to expand maps uh, to, to be fully screen. So these are, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I, I don't have a pointer, but uh, uh, we shall be looking at how we can uh, expand the map to be fully on screen and also add unleashed text. If you look down here, uh, under the map, uh, you can see uh, we have uh, uh, the unleashed text where you can write your interpretations, your comments, and this descriptions uh, based on, on different features, uh, of course, in the analytics tools features. So that, that's one of the new improvements that has been done to dashboard. I can see the, okay, so. So I would request uh, uh, colleagues, facilitators who are here to uh, keep on responding to questions asked in the comments, but also I encourage participants to uh, please share your issues, concerns into the slide. So this is one improvement on the dashboard. Secondary, uh, the, the dashboard, uh, has been uh, has been improved to quickly move between charts, tables, map, you know, a single dashboard visualization. So, so from a dashboard, so you can uh, be able to, if you look here, 
can be able to or change from a chart to a table or from a chart to a map. So that uh, quickly uh, move from one uh, chart table to another that has been uh, also improved. Uh, so from also a dashboard, you can also apply multiple filters to dashboards uh, and all outputs on the dashboard will be updated together. So or maybe during the demo here, if you look here on top, we have filters. So you can filter out or in, or can filter out some of the features, whether you drill down or you drill up to, to any object of the, of the dashboard. And automatically, when you validate, the changes are automatically reflected on the dashboard. The third uh, update we wanted to share with you is, is the favorite. So within uh, uh, the dashboard, there are features that has been enabled to, to, to star some favorites. So it means like you, you, are, you are giving high priority to some of your favorite dashboards, especially to make sure that they are well sorted by others. Image, you can see the immunization uh, dashboard has a star and immunization map and also bcg coverage doesn't so which means as as you go favorite dashboard automatically it comes at the first place first position so that's what the dashboard the dashboard also has been improved to ensure there is a navigation of the menu uh, for managing dashboard items so if you look here on top we have so many dashboards so the dashboard dashboard app has been improved to uh, uh, to simplify the navigation throughout dashboard items. Uh, from the dashboard, they also uh, uh, improved. And from here, you can, uh, from the new dashboard, of course, uh, the new, you can, up, when you upgrade the platform, you can. Now, benefiting from the printing dashboard, whereby you have that in a dashboard, you have a possibility of being able to print your dashboard and you can print it for uh, any uh, way of printing. So the dashboard also has been improved uh, uh, to support uh, mobile applications. For those who are now testing the mobile applications with the recent VHS versions, so the dashboard app has been improved to, uh, uh, to both support portrait and landscape orientations within a mobile devices. So if you look on this image, so there are possibilities of uh, seeing the dashboards on your mobile application. Uh, and if you look the beauty of it, it's really, uh, uh, really good for, 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 for visual, for use, and for also whoever wants to uh, explore this DHIS uh, dashboard application. Uh, so the, the six improvements uh, is that the, now the, the dashboard cannot be saved offline. Uh, so if you look from, from the upper image here, on top of at the far end, where we have uh, far end of every dashboard, we are, we are, we are, we are having now, so this means when you are offline, so we shall see it during the demo session, and automatically uh, you have an offline uh, widget, if I can say an offline area, we can click and visual the offline dashboards. Uh, so, of course, uh, the improvement also, uh, the improvements also allows you to move between different dashboards you have saved. 
while offline. So it means if you might, you might be having multiple offline dashboards. So which means the improvements also helps you to navigate through. I see previously it wasn't easy possible to navigate through a dashboard when you're not connected, but uh, by making your dashboard, your dashboard offline, so you can easily uh, navigate through the offline, uh, the offline dashboards. I hope so. Uh, so this, uh, the next it's adding cascading sharing. This is also uh, a, a new update, new improvements to the to DHIS dashboard application. So within uh, DHIS, so uh, to default layout. Has also been uh, uh, also been uh, improved. If you look at uh, the dashboard, in the in the dashboard options, uh, you can play around with the with the layout. It's uh, up to oh, you guys in your implementation to decide what do you really want. Do you want to it uh, so that you have uh, uh, so it's up to you to organize. So you have uh, initially uh, it was uh, there. You have have to go and re reorganize, but here you can stick decide to any dashboard layout you want it and you stick to it. So the second uh, application that, I, I, as I have said, in this DHS and IT source, it's a it's data visualizer. So as I have said, the data visualizer has been upgraded since uh, 231 and to integrate to combine uh, charts and also to combine uh, pivot, table, pivot tables. Let's start by see what are the improvements, excuse me, what are the improvements with regards to charts uh, development? So with the new DHS versions, the app, uh, Data Visualizer app has been uh, improved to include the new user interface for selecting chart types, uh, selecting chart types, dimensions and setting the layouts. So that, that's something we shall, we shall be having in, in the demo. You can also set your layout. Uh, you, you cannot set your, your layout uh, uh, as you want. So if you look here, uh, for example, the data visualizer has uh, a place for sales and uh, categories and also the unit. So you can always filter out and play around with the layout you want and if, uh, stick to that. So the data visualizer, uh, of course, charts. Uh, so the gold charts has been uh, improved by adding legends. Uh, adding colors and target line. If you look at the legend here, so we, the, it has also been improved by adding the single value chart, especially looking at the legends, colors, indicator types, and also uh, the bar and the column charts, uh, legends, the colors aspect has been improved. So throughout this session, uh, this academy, we shall be exploring all these uh, improvements to see uh, and have hands on. So these are actually uh, very good features that has been uh, uh, gathered from uh, field feedbacks uh, and that has been integrated so far as of now. Of course, you might find some of your feedbacks are not yet integrated, but uh, uh, maybe it, it requires more time or it requires uh, much changes onto the core part of DHS, but progressively your feedbacks shall get uh, be integrated uh, into the uh, new releases. So the data visualizer uh, app also has uh, been improved to, uh, as I previously in the previous slide, to add chart color sets. 
uh, to apply to define calluses to every chart. So here we now have possibilities of, of for a chart deciding I want to use this color set for my chart. We also uh, they, they also it has also been improved to to text styling mean changing uh, the the style color of the text the size and also uh, even the legend. So now uh, users has more flexibility to decide what text style he or she wants to use colors size and so forth within the visualization. So these are like one of the screenshots taken from uh, demo instance, uh, whereby we can easily choose uh, text uh, features or even uh, chart sets of colors we want to use for, for a given chart. So meaning like uh, chart color set, it means in this area of chart area and Styling is about these legends. You know, all these texts are uh, explaining uh, the figures, the upwards figures. figures. Any question, comments, compliments? Uh, okay. Okay. Most of the issues uh, shared here in the chat is related to people's user accounts. So let's keep on uh, moving to. Uh, the next updates. So data dimension in data visualizer or of chart has also been improved, uh, especially uh, making more uh, a little bit flexible that, uh, to the to the user. So it's now. Uh, much more uh, possible to do dimensions recommendations when working with the data elements. Of course, uh, when the charts are Are done. So the DHIS, uh, uh, the interpretations. So the a panel for uh, which, if you look at uh, in, in the left where uh, I'm pointing, so, so there is interpretation panel where uh, users can uh, share their interpretations on a given uh, analysis output. Uh, Adding, uh, uh, more details related to these charts and the visualizer has also been improved to uh, with a very new chart type uh, for example here if you look here over here bar and line charts that has been introduced so the the year over year balance chart is here upwards so we have possibilities of let's say of uh, Plotting, you can have a chart year by year. So, for example, this chart uh, shows the last uh, okay since 2020, the uh, 2020, uh, 2019, 2018 charts, the the annual uh, the annual chart line charts. But we have possibility of lining up the three consecutive years. Down here, you can see we have uh, the single value chart. This is a, also the improved uh, improvements that has been made to the new DHS releases. Uh, some of its these are can be found not only in in two thirty seven, but also even the previous versions, especially starting from two thirty one uh, version.
So with the data visualizer, the new improved data visualizer app, uh, also the new chart type we also introduced, let's say combining uh, charts. Uh, let's say here in the first chart, we are, we are combining a, a, a bar chart and, and a line chart. So, so we, we have possibilities in the new versions, new release and new improved data visualizer app, a new possibility a new possibility of combining charts into one uh, plotting area. Uh, for example, down here, we can also have two categories charts. So these are all these are uh, also all these are new chart types that has been introduced that we shall be uh, we shall be sharing with you and hearing from you feedback static applications so they are uh, so they change based on user feedbacks so we hope also hope to get feedbacks from you guys on uh, how do you see the uh, the improvements made and what are the uh, gaps and what are the new improvements that maybe you may require to have integrated into the new uh, versions The new chart type also introduced in this uh, uh, version, uh, 2.237, uh, is skate uploads. So uh, the, skate, oh, the skate uploads uh, uh, has been there, but uh, it has faced some improvements, especially to make it more visual and also to make it more a uh, uh, interpretable. So if you look here, you can see we have uh, uh, different colors. So see the legends uh, has also, as I said in previous session, in previous slides, legends has been improved to improve the visibility of most of the charts into the HIS. In addition to uh, uh, charts, as I said, data visualizer as of now combines. Uh, Charts configurations or development, and also pivot table creations. So within uh, the data visualizer, you can be able uh, to create, of course, a pivot table. Uh, with, of course, with a very uh, new improvements that you shall be uh, be following the new coming sessions, uh, comparing to the previous sessions. So the pivot table, uh, 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 since 234, uh, it has been improved to into a single data visualizer app. Uh, the pivot, the previous pivot table app is no longer available seven, which means if you are planning to upgrade to 2.37, so get ready that the, the, the old uh, pivot table application won't be available, but of course, as you've seen, they are very good. The beauty with this new improved data visualizer app that combines uh, data visualizer, no, that, that combines charts creation and also pivot tables. Uh, so, so all previously made pivot tables made in the pivot table app are compatible with the new improvements. So all pivot table made in data visualizer are compatible with the pivot table app. So this means uh, you might have some pivot table or customized into the old uh, into the old pivot table. So you shouldn't be afraid that maybe you may lose uh, uh, your, uh, your your pivot tables and whatever so and your analysis so whatever you have customized with the old bar shall be transferred to the new app as you upgrade upwards to the recent bhs versions so you won't have any issue uh, so this image tries to explain a little bit uh, looking at say uh, if you look at the, the the visual presentation of the apps it's completely different uh because here with the new pivot table you see uh it's actually uh, better in the new in the new ones, right?
So the, 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 the next improvement or updates made into pivot table, of course, within data visualizer app. Uh, this one is uh, regarding improvements made to data visualizer app. Uh, okay, this is what I have uh, explained. Uh, uh, so the persistent layout of for pivoting items quickly. There are also dimensions recommendations. So which means if you are configured your applications, so the the new app or recommend some of the di new dimensions, especially looking at how uh, what will be the most ideal uh, uh, analysis that you would want to do. Uh, the interface also has been improved, and also interpretations panel has been also enhanced. So of course, in the old DHIS, we had also interpretations, but with this new uh, pivot table, the the interpretation panel has been enhanced, so you shall be experiencing that one also throughout the exercise and the practical sessions in the coming uh, in the coming uh, days. Some of us has been, you know, with the, some of us have been uh, used with using Excel and being able to freeze some of the columns and rows and uh, people has been requesting these features for, for long uh, to, to be able to have uh, similar functionalities to be able to freeze let's say if you have let's say a very long uh, a, very, a, a very long pivot table and you want to scroll down to see uh, but keep on let's say the columns and uh, and leave out the, the uh, uh, freeze the, the headings so this feature has been also integrated to the his and we shall also be uh, exploring this one in the exercise uh, up to uh, any question before uh, even though this is a highlight we shall have more time to do practice and assess of these features but if you might you, in case you might have concern questions up to uh, uh, i can have time to get two or three questions or compliments from uh, uh, the facilitators here present. Any question? Okay, so if there is no question, let me go on. No compliments? Okay. Am I audible? Yes. Yes. Okay. So sometimes with the technology, you yes, assume I can hear. Uh, yes. You are still online while yes, yes. discussion. Okay. Good to hear from that. You are also still there. Okay. On and off, sir. The audio is on and off. Okay. Thank you very much for the feedback. So the map application since 2.29 has, has got uh, very much improvements, especially trying to accommodate to feed, feedbacks uh, collected from the, field, from the field from implementers. So the interface, as you can see from this image, it has really completely changed. Uh, adding new uh, uh, new map layers. If you look in here, we have uh, a thematic layer. We have events. You have track entity. We have cities. We have boundaries, location, temperature, precipitations, land land cover, and land cover uh, uh, layers. So all. These layers have been integrated to make sure that you are more uh, comfortable with the, the map application and also the map application can uh, respond to most of uh, your map, your map, uh, the, your, your mapping needs. Uh -huh. Secondly, uh, initially we, we had uh, issues by downloading maps, especially combining uh, 
multiple layers. So this time is is now uh, possible. So you can now download your map as an image, uh, and also you can download your map data and be able to look in here. Uh, this is really uh, people has been requesting this picture for a while, uh, whereby you find uh, even though DHIS can address most of uh, uh, map mapping needs of uh, users, but of course there are people who still need some much advanced uh, QGIS or ArcGIS features that maybe we haven't yet integrated with DHIS, within DHIS. So the map application has been improved to accommodate all those requests to make sure that you can download your data and be able to do manipulations into ArcGIS to produce more, more fancy, more advanced uh, uh, ArcGIS or QGIS-based uh, maps. So if you look at this image, so you can now download your, your data as a GeoJSON format and start use it for your ArcGIS uh, applications and other GIS software that you may have at your disposition. So with the new, uh, with the new Maps application, it has really been improved to allow you to map or to display your data table. So you might be displaying your map, but there are some people who, as let's say, depending on the different audience, they want to see your data table. You want to see data that has contributed to the map that they are seeing. So, oh, so, so the, DHS the DHS map application has been improved to accommodate that request also. So this is the visual uh, presentation of it for, for, for you guys, but we, we shall have more time to do practices on this. Uh, the next uh, uh, improvement uh, made on this uh, DHS map application is to be able to use your data dimensions to do some filtering. If you look here, let's say you might have uh, disaggregated by gender. And maybe in your first plotting of this, maybe you didn't want to have uh, uh, to want to have uh, difference between uh, uh, you try to have you're breaking a lot I don't know it's on my side I can't hear anything. Is everybody experiencing it? Yes, I see. Yes, we experience it, sir. Yeah, it's been off for a while.
Uh, oh, hi everyone, uh, while waiting for others to come back, uh, we shared the training instances in the Moodle. Uh, you can check on the announcement path. We have the link for the product that we'll be using for the training. And uh, you shall create the account for yourself. I will share the, the link in, in chat here as well. So, so, sorry, guys, I uh, had the network issue. I uh, hope uh, my audible now. Yes, you are. Oh, okay, so let me continue uh, the presentation. So I, I, I was explaining, I was explaining that uh, uh, the new the, the the next improvement done on on maps application is to be able to use your data dimensions to filter your maps so based on let's say you might have as a here use as an example you want only to focus on male related data on your map so here you can ex easily exclude data related to no no data related to male to to female I'm mixing up. So you want to only include female related data and you want to exclude male related data. So from here, you can fill it out uh, what you want and be able to plot it, uh, uh, be able to plot it on your, on your map. So with, with, with the with the map, uh, it, it has also been improved to, to create both color, color plate and bubble maps. So you, you can choose uh, whether you are, you, are, you are using color plate or bubble maps. So if you look, bubble maps looks like this one. So you have bubbles and here you have, uh, uh, you are just painting the whole, uh, you are painting the whole the whole area or the whole uh, based on your uh, shape files. So you can decide is, is it going to be like a bubble map? Is it going to be like color plate map? So the color plate is this one and the bubble map is this one. So you'll see. So as for the bubble map, when you have uh, so based on your on your legends, uh, so the uh, the, where it's redwish based on how your region is, so it up, it's the same thing like like this one, but it's here it's presented in a in a bubble style, but here it's color plate. So within uh, the new uh, maps feature, so the, we ha the the maps have also been upgraded or enhanced to have split view and timeline is map. So if you look here, so you can easily split your maps uh, and have it into uh, 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 based on uh, have it split it. And also you can also use different timelines to have different maps. So th all these are, are new features uh, that has been uh, uh, added into the HIS or improved into the HIS to, for you to be able to maximize the use of the HIS for your different data uses and also uh, data and the reporting requirements. So if you look at this image, you can see that there is a possibility of uh, creating map, uh, combining the the, the your your the facility uh, uh, your, your facilities uh, layers, and also adding including images based on the types of 
based on the facilities uh, you want, the image of facilities. This is uh, also another feature for you, who, for those who wants to or have a real facility image into their, uh, into their systems. Uh, let's say uh, having, we know you we used to have, we normally have also the images for different facility types, uh, making them uh, uh, private, for, for private, for public, for referral hospital, for health center. So you, there are possibilities of uh, having different images and uh, icons for different uh, facilities, but also as the improvements are being made, it's also to add, be able to add your hospital images into the, uh, into the system. Any question before we go to, to do a kind of a quick demo uh, of what we have been saying? Please raise your hand if you have a concern, question. Uh, maybe I would take like a few minutes to give uh, a floor to my co-facilitators if they do have compliments and also try to get your questions. If you do, please. I can see Prosper in here. Prosper, any compliments? So if no questions, I assume you understood everything. So let's go to our demo session. So as it has been explained, so during this uh, academy, we shall be using uh, uh, instances, DHS instances that has been shared to communicate to you. But uh, if you have missed it out, uh, we shall keep on sharing the links into the Slack for you, for those who are coming late to uh, keep up with us and also we do it together. So we have, uh, we have uh, uh, two instances for, for you guys. So we have two instances for you guys. So we have uh, the, the academy.demo.dhs.org uh, slash configure that you shall be using for configuration uh, uh, works. And also we have uh, 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 the, the, the second one, as it has been explained to you, uh, for, oh, this one is not up. Do you see my screen? No. You don't? Yeah, only, no, only any questions. Okay, let me just share my, my screen again. Do you see it? Yes, I think we can see it. So the link is also shared here in chat uh, on Slack and the model. Yes. So as I said, we have two instances for you guys. We have the configuration uh, slash configure 
uh, instance that you shall be using for the configuration exercise. But for analysis, practice, and whatever, uh, as Jean Paul said, it's already shared on Slack. It's not displaying for me. I don't, I'm not sure why it's not. But since it has been shared with you, where is it? Uh, check, check in the, in the chat here. Okay. Oh, it's called review, not uh, review. Okay. For you guys, so you shall be using all these two instances uh, for for your your the the the, the review for your analysis uh, related exercise and for your uh, configure for your configuration related exercise. So, uh, so, so after look, so when you log into your, your, your system, uh, you shall see uh, automatically shall go straight to the to the dashboard. So, so for the sake of this. Uh, Academy, so we shall uh, I shall limit this demo to, of course, to DHS analytics tools, uh, especially when you look at, uh, for example, as I've been explaining. So the dashboard uh, has been improved to be able, for you to be able to start your favorite your favorite uh, dashboard. If you look here, uh, you can. Star your your dashboard. Uh, for example, by doing by clicking on this star, see for for every dashboard you have these possibilities of starring it by clicking it to, to by clicking to star automatically. The the dashboard with the with the star is given a priority, and also uh, it helps you sorting your favorite. Helps you sort your favorite. Which meeting? Are you following? I did to time The woman in Bamari does that because we are not supposed to be sitting in the last meeting. Yes, we are following. Yes, we are following. Grace. Tell me what I need to do. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Why are you segregating? We are very few people here. You want to have one of you push an euro chair, just the one to ask. No management. Then we should do. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay. So you can see you can easily start your dashboard based on if you wanted to make it uh, a priority, you start it and uh, you, uh, you, 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 uh, the starting helps you to sort, to sort, to sort your, your dashboard. So inside the dashboard, as has been explaining, you see, uh, we have possibilities of filtering. So I've been explaining the filtering. So for example, uh, inside the dashboard, I can say, uh, I want to, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to, uh, to filter, to filter the, for example, uh, let's say one province. So I can simply click here on a province and comes in here and filter only, for example, uh, food animal. And when confirmed, automatically, the all dashboards are automatically updated with the animal, uh, with animal uh, uh, province. So if I go back and say, okay, let me, this is not what I wanted. I can go back and make sure that I, let's say I filter both. And then when I update, I'm sure that uh, this is what I want. And then you see automatically, these filters automatically applies to, uh, to the whole dashboard. So you see, this is also uh, some, uh, what I've been talking about, the improvements that has been made on, uh, 
on the dashboard application. So you, you can also, uh, from this, as I said, so you can also uh, choose multiple, you can also start multiple applications, multiple dashboards. So as I said, any, uh, so you can start as many as you want, but automatically the system uh, sort, of course, alphabetically the, your dashboards based on how you are going, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are after starting the, the dashboard. You can also, uh, for example, decide to filter or change dimensions. Mm -hmm. Let's say, uh, Richard. Dimensions, okay, let me use this one. Am I connected or not? Let me see. So you can decide to use any period. Let's say I want to filter out uh, only six months. So which means I want to my dashboard only plot uh, all data for the last six months. So if I, I confirm here, so automatically my dashboard get updated and weather charts map, pivot table, uh, everything is, sort, is updated based on what they have filtered uh, in, here in the, in the filters. So this is a really a very good feature for, 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 for you to, if you are planning for you to uh, do practice on and also explore uh, how you can adopt it in your, in your country implementation. Any question, comment? Are you okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, fine. Okay. So, okay. Let's say, uh, Let's say, for example, you want to, so there, there are multiple uh, configuration or changes you can do in here. For example, let's take an example uh, uh, of uh, this uh, first map. For example, you can also uh, do some changes on this, uh, on, on this map. You see, you can also change however you want. So here we've been dealing with, it, with the, the dashboard. So, but also you have a possibility of dealing with, of dealing with your, your, your very specific, uh, your very specific dashboard item. Let's take an example of this one. If let's say I want to only change this one. Huh? Okay, let me bring it back. I want to only change this one. Uh, so I can open this one and be able to, to accommodate my changes. And when I'm done with doing changes, when saved, automatically changes are automatically reflected in the dashboard. Bear with me, I see the network is a little bit slow. I hope you still see my screen.
So what's going on in here? I think you have network issue in here. So do you still see my screen? Yeah, yeah, yes, Adolf. This is actually a network issue that is uh, displaying all the things. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, it, will, uh, it will have displayed the chart the way you wanted to modify it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, thank you very much. So you can see, for example, let's take an example of this, uh, of this chart. Uh, we can easily opt to, to change the period in here and probably limit it instead of, let's say, using, let's say, six months. We can decide to say, okay, let's uh, look what is happening into three months and update our, our chart. So you can see, for example, here, the you can see for example here uh, uh, in, in in this uh, in this chart uh, we have more uh, female positive HIV positive cases and also uh, have uh, uh, have uh, uh, Male, uh, few male positive. So, can I also decide to, for example, to change and, for example, uh, change the presentation? Let's say you want to, as I've been saying, like the, the new DHS features allows to have free movement from uh, moving one uh, object to another. For example, let's take this one. Let's say, let's say we want to, uh, no, no, we want to. Let me select the, for example, the, the two provinces, animal and update. And maybe I want, uh, uh, I want this uh, org unit. I want this org unit to be in here and update, for example. So you can see, for example, I wanted to display uh, this. Uh, okay, I wanted to display uh, to see how my regions are the state. I have status in my regions, my two regions. How uh, it, it, it's there. So you can see, for example, the animal the animal region has more uh, positive cases and. Uh, the the food region has very few uh, positive cases. So yeah, as soon as I update, I I I, I save changes. Automatically, this one is reflected into uh, the system. So from here, you can also see, for example, the interpretations. So within this data visualizer app, you can easily uh, add. Interpret, write your interpretation in here for this very specific, for this very specific, uh, uh, for this very specific uh, chart. Let's say, uh, so, and the good thing you see the DHIS keeps records of whoever did what and when that action has been performed, has been done. I can say, uh, For example, lump or uh, the, the animal region, 
um, seems to have uh, double cases, more than double, have more than double cases, uh, HIV cases, HIV positive cases. Uh, comparing to uh, to food region. So when done, uh, I can easily save my interpretation and oh, okay. I can save my uh, I can save my interpretation and automatically the interpretation is there written there and uh the date and year mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the improvements uh, so the next improvement with regards to uh in addition to this uh so with regards to interpretation so you can see here you can manage sharings of your interpretations uh, so you can decide to uh reply to a given interpretation, you can hide, uh, you, you can uh, 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 share the interpretation, decide who are you going to share your interpretation. If you want to make it public, if you want to share to a very specific group of users, or if you want to edit or delete. All these are features, uh, these uh, uh, operations that you can do with your, uh, with the uh, interpretations. Any question? Yes, Compano. Hello? I've seen Compano raising the hand. Is it a... Compano, please go ahead. Hello? My audible? If Compano is not ready, let's go to Derek. Derek, the floor is yours. Hello, hello. Yes, please. Okay, sorry, it is for Pano. Uh, I mean, uh, I think we were we were this, we were not allowed to unmute ourselves, but it's now been resolved. So that's why I couldn't put it in. Okay. okay, so. Yeah, my question is, okay, um, did you share the login details for this particular instance? Uh, yes, the, the login details, if they are not shared, uh, they shall be shared with you very soon. I'll ask uh, Jean-Paul to share with you the login details in the Slack for everyone, right? So that as soon as we start the tomorrow session, everybody is ready to to start. Maybe just to add up on that, Adolf. Yes, so please. apparently we have we have uh, the links within the Moodle. So if you go into Moodle, you'll find uh, the links for this DHS two platform, and you'll be required to self register yourself. So apparently it's just a link and the account is gonna be created by yourself via self-registration. So if you log in into Moodle, you'll find a tab. Uh, you'll find a tab written DHS2. You'll find a tab named DHS2 training instances links. 
So if you open that, you'll find the two links for the platforms. One is for you to move around with all these analytical features, but the second one is going to be on the configuration part once we get into validation rules configuration session. So both of them, you have to register yourselves. Make sure you don't forget the username and passwords. Over. OK, thank you, Hadija. Any other question? Delik, are you still asking or we continue? Oh, thank you very much, Adolf. Yeah, mine uh, I with internet and uh, mine was about the dashboards. When we we're talking about the dashboards, when you're filtering, when you're filtering, we have multiple dashboards that we had. We had immunization, HIV, and whenever you would filter, let's say like the you, you want only the six months, it would appear to uh, all the dashboards. Yeah, thank you very much. You can see here uh, we have different uh, dashboards. And whenever you would uh, uh, filter, let's say like uh, six, mo six months as you did, it appeared to all the dashboards. So now in my case, let's say I want to pick up uh, only uh, one, one dashboard, let's say like immunization only, and it's only one that I want to visualize, or maybe it's the only one I want to, to uh, put into those uh, months. Is it possible or is it possible to be done right here? Thank you. Yeah, uh, okay, I, I'm not sure if I got you well. So if, for example, I apply my filter to HIV district dashboard. So it means the filter I'm doing here only applies to this dashboard, to all dashboard items. If I would just want to do it specifically for a single dashboard object, so you see here there is, there's, there's uh, three buttons in here. That's where you come and open your application, your, your object and change, and afterward you save. But when you do it from here, it means you are, you are doing it for the whole dashboard objects. So whatever you do here in this dashboard, it doesn't apply to immunization, HIV facility, HIV national immunization app, so the other dashboards are in very independent. So they are not, uh, don't ha they don't have any linkage with, the, with this one. Oh, thank you. thank you. Yeah. So while we are here, you see we have different possibilities of editing, of editing dashboards. And as I said, you see we have a printing option. So for every dashboard, you can print. So if you print, all of this, all of these are going to be printed. Let's say if I try to print this one. So the printer is compiling everything. So then when it's done, I will print. That's one of the, of the option. Secondly, uh, we have also, uh, for every dashboard, no, no, excuse me. So for every dashboard, apart from using a, a printing option here, you can also share your dashboard. And it's up to you to know who are you sharing it with. But here, we really discourage sharing to all users. So to avoid uh, 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 sharing unneeded dashboards to all system users. So we have possibilities of sharing with the group and also uh, the access levels, whether it's view only or view and edit. OK. Okay, so we also have, uh, the, as I explained before, there's also a possibilities of making your dashboard offline. Let's take an example. If let's say I, I take this one and I make it offline. 
So it means as much as I make it offline, so it means uh, when I'm offline, I will have possibilities of, uh, of making, of navigating uh, from one offline dashboard to another without having uh, constraints that I'm not connected. So this one, you can try it by yourself. So moving fast, let's also uh, see, uh, uh, apart from using this uh, 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 offline, more offline. So there are also quite a number of tools that you can exp you can play around with uh, from uh, to see how they really work and give us feedback if you are happy with them and if not, share with the improvements that you may find more relevant to be added. In addition to to that, uh, apart so as I said, this three button, it's when you want to deal with a very specific dashboard object. And here it's when you want to deal with the whole, the whole dashboard, uh, the whole dashboard. So that's with regard with the, with the dash, with the charts. So let's look at with regards to maps, no, to, to, to pivot tables. So with regards to pivot tables, if you look here, DHIS allows you to add some legends, uh, color coding uh, style for, let's say, for a very specific, uh, uh, for a very specific uh, analysis you want to do. So with DHIS, you can easily decide to come, as I've been explaining, to come and say you, uh, you filter out your way that you change because I want to deal with the very single object with dashboard. I can just simply come here and open it up and be able, for example, to 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 limit org units, change org units from this one, let's say to To sub to sub to to regions. So doing so automatically, the system will change and give me the 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 the, the, the pivot table. So in here, uh, you can also uh, uh, decide to. Let me bring back this one. You can also decide to. Uh, To, to look into, let's say, a few period, few months. Let's say instead of having 12 months, I have uh, six months and then update. So the, the dashboard also uh, from this dashboard visualizer applies and accommodate changes uh, as needed. So from this one, who can tell me the, who can tell me the, the, the district with the very lowest, uh, lowest ratio. Come again. Come again. Uh, I just want to find out if you've been following from this uh, pivot table. So we have set, we have applied legends, and I just want to find out from you who can easily tell me which district with uh, a very low ratio. HIV ratio. Can you make it bigger because this is small? We cannot see you widely. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I think I think it's the the bed district. Please. Uh -huh. Yes, bed district. Yes. Yeah, that's so. So you see the bed district, huh? So why is it uh, bed district? I think we look at uh, looking at the titles of the columns. Uh, the the fourth column is where you have the HIV ratio on the new, on art newly diagnosed in per in percentages. Uh -huh. If I do like this, is it still? Yeah, it it it's still the the lowest. Just that, but uh, okay. I think you have just 
reordered. <laughs> yes. Reordered yes. The, the, the yes. It is, it is still the bad, the bad districts, and so you see uh, with this uh, pivot table, you can simply uh, sort by any column your pivot table, right? Huh? So based on the analysis you want to do, you can easily do your, sort, your sorting. Mm -hmm. So let's, for example, uh, people living with HIV tested that are biologically su suppressed. Uh, if you sort by, by descending order, this is how it should be. If by ascending order, this is how it should be. Uh, so you see with this uh, new uh, uh, DHIS uh, uh, pivot table, you can still do much, uh, uh, much of the analysis as you want. So in addition to, uh, so still within this pivot table, there are much uh, 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 things you can do uh, for, through these uh, uh, options. You see, we have savings that uh, you are familiar with, but also in the options, we have different uh, features that are uh, here for us to be used. We shall have more time to, uh, to play around with them by applying. So for example, this one, uh, we, we have applied uh, a, a predefined regent. So which means we have already created the regent and applied to this uh, uh, pivot table. Uh, we have legend change background color. So this is what we use. When you go to series, you still can do some uh, improvements that you want. Uh, you, you can also limit your values. You have, can also deal with your parameters. So there are a lot of things you can do within this uh, 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 pivot table side. And then when you are done, you, as always, you update and to, for you to see the changes. Any question? I'm, not, I, I'm sure you, we shall have more time uh, every day dedicated to, to every uh, application or every feature mentioned, starting from that, that, that uh, validation rule analysis and configurations, charts, map, pivot tables, and maps. So we shall have uh, much time dedicated to every of these aspects for us to really uh, dig deep and uh, do left and right, up and down exercise, uh, try to look in every corner of these applications to get familiar and find what is new with, the, uh, with these applications. So probably without taking much of your time, I can limit uh, my demo here as we shall have more, more time uh, with regards to, to this. So maybe I can't conclude uh, by maybe looking at uh, the charts, uh, showing uh, you how you can, uh, uh, how it looks like, even though you've seen it in the PowerPoint, but uh, let's see if you have on this uh, dashboard, it, a map, a map uh, uh, output. So you simply click on it, uh, and open it. So it does have uh, the features that I've been talking about. Uh, So the network is not so strong. Let's hope we shall make it. Let's force it this way. So while it is distributed, displaying, who can remind me the good features we have 
discussed previously with regards to to charts. My Hello? 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 Yes, we can hear him. I was asking who can remind me the features we, we went through regarding the chart, the maps no, no, while the, the system is loading. The, the maps you have clearly indicated about uh, the download button. Or, it's 17 hours. Or you can import this through the map for the ArcGIS or the QGIS. These features are the benefits. So also during the map, you can uh, shift or change into the tables or you can use uh, the three different data dimensions. Uh, you can filter it through the map. So there are, uh, there are benefits online for But also I have seen... Uh, Sorry, remedy. So within the dashboard also, the three bottom I have seen is another, feed, uh, another benefit, which is if you can click on the bottom, there's a full screen. You can also show as a slideshow with your uh, dashboard. So these are the benefits which we have learned today. Thank you. But also I have a yeah. question for you. Uh, it has been shared yes. for two instances. One is for uh, in the Moodle bar. So one is the data analyte. I have made my username and password. But also if I want to go the second instance for configuration, do I need to have again another username or shall I use both in one username? Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ibrahim. For, for, with regards to to the instance, I think as of now we shall be using the 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 slash review app, uh, instance. So, but we, as we move forward, uh, as we progress into the academy, the facilitators shall be communicating the instance to use. But uh, uh, apart from uh, configuration exercise, uh, that shall be done into the configuration the configure instance, the rest of your work shall be done into the review instance. So in every instance you should have you should you, should, you, you have to create the the user account. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Let's see why my network is not moving fast, but uh, Okay, let me use this one. Because I see that one is a little bit slow. So I've been uh, talking about the 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 maps, uh, the map outputs into the dashboard. So they are actually uh, looking at uh, the, the the network issues we are facing. Maybe may not load easily the the maps application, but uh, as uh, topping up to what Ibrahim said, uh, we have the the new uh, maps application has actually improvements on 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 maps no no on layers so there are very good improvements done performed on layers new layers has been introduced and also different maps type and also possibilities of drilling down into the maps 